What's the latest? Hi, Mai. We're on the last trash of a four-day meeting of the Asian Development Bank here in Manila. It's a, this annual meeting is a turning point for this Japan-based or Japan-led lender. It comes a year after it celebrated its 50th anniversary, and for the past half century, its role has been largely to lift Asians out of poverty. Now, that role is changing because new challenges have emerged. Much of Asia is wealthier now, with China now the world's number two uh, largest economy and the likes of formerly poor nations like Cambodia, Vietnam, and the Philippines now growing their economies at an average 7%. ADB is uh, reconfiguring the way it is helping Asians um, with its so-called Strategy 2030. Um, the ADB says cutting poverty still is an unfinished business, but much of the funding now will go to the private sector uh, or private sector operations, and it's building uh, mass transport, building green cities with clean water, and combating climate change and inequality. My, Lois, what do we expect from uh, the conclusion of this meeting? My the main. The main outcome of this annual meeting, Mai, is that the ADB sat down with civil society groups and it also convened its um, so-called board of governors to tackle that strategy 2030. Now, ADB President Takihiko Nakao says the new ADB strategy, uh, strategy should be approved by the middle of this year. Later today, Mai, at 6 p.m., uh, President Duterte is expected to be here in EDSA, Shangri-La, as uh, the guest of honor. There will be also a photo session with the heads of uh, delegation. That officially closes the 51st annual meeting of the Asian Development Bank. Tomorrow, of course, it's a Sunday. There will be a sideline meetings to that annual meeting, but it's really uh, between governments and bilateral meetings, and it will be closed door. My, Thank you. That was our senior correspondent, Lois Calderon, reporting live from Elsa Shangri-La in Mandaluyong.